Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are back in the shop. We had a good time the last couple days playing with that Thunderbird. Uh, but we're in the shop today, and this is what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to fill the place. I'm going to put a little filler on the places where I put the patches on, or weld it back together. And then I'm going to sand it, and I'm going to try to paint it all in this video. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to take the blowgun and blow it all off first. I've got a little bit of filler put on this side here, uh, basically just to try to give myself a head start on putting the filler on, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it, and I'm going to try to put it on, sand it off, and paint it all in one video if I can. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Just going to blow the dirt off everything. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for all the great comments. Um, thanks for everything. Thank you. Hope everybody had a great Easter. And uh, good morning, Australia. Good morning. We'll just get that across here. So we're just going to put some filler on the places that we welded it. And then we can take and mix up some paint like we did on the fender skirts. You can see on the fender skirts that I did put, apply the, the emblem. And I did put the emblem in the center of the wheel. Uh, there was a few comments that came in that was talking about that. And I had done it before the comments come in. I just kind of figured, well, that's round like that. Maybe it should fit the center of the wheel. And that's what I did. So I've got the car um, welded up and in place where I want it. I've got uh, the windows on order. Uh, they will be here when they're here. I told them no rush. You know, there's nothing going on right now that I need the windows right at this present moment. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to cover that weld up. I'm thinking just for just for me, I guess. Uh, trying to make the car look like it was and it hasn't been touched, but yet um, it has been this way all of its life. But we know deep down it's had a haircut, basically. And I just want to do them areas and then we'll blow a little blue paint on it. And then... Uh, I'll just show you how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to hit the area that was welded, and that's it. I'm going to generally, I generally put on more than it needs. And that way there, we'll run the sander over it after. And uh, we'll make it all one color. I thought about leaving it and letting it rust, but in the end, I'm trying to, I guess, make it seem like the car has not been chopped by maybe throwing a little paint on it. Um, someone obviously could tell, no doubt in my mind, if, you know, if they were really, you know, up on what's going on or what this car is supposed to look like. I'm not worried about the rust on either side. I'm not keeping the filler. All I want the filler is on where I've welded it. And uh, what, when I go to sand it, I'm thinking that I'll sand it off until it's just smoothed off and that's it. We're not going for a perfect job. We're going for uh, the quickest filled chopped roof ever. And also, I was looking at some, some. Uh, um, it was a film documentary about Hudson and Terraplane. Uh, there's many cars that had dual side mounts, but they were Hudsons, not Terraplanes. Terraplane is the lowest model, I think. I think the Hudson Super 8. The Hudson Super 8 had, we have company, as I can hear Fina going for it. Would that be Tim and your mother? Okay. Just mixing up small batches, and the reason being is uh, it hardens on you too quick. And when you start, just just hardens on me too quick because I'm not laying it on one spot. There's I'm doing it in small areas, so you mix small batches. Sounds like Tim done it. The Fiero guys here. 
not going around that corner for a minute for a minute right now because I got some glass going in there good morning So I have been playing, throwing, mauling over my brain what we're going to do with the, the Thunderbird, and I'm not quite actually sure yet. But one thing I will say, it's the perfect candidate for modifying and customizing, and the reason being is it's all tore apart. Every, there's a lot of nuts and bolts out of the car. Um, it's a good car for customization. Yes, it is. And it, and it could be a good car for, you know, if someone wanted to put it back together, it could be a good car for that. It'd be a, it'd be a project, that's for sure. But uh, when you find, when I find cars like that, and the price is right and the body's pretty good, um, it's a nice car to think about customizing. There's many 58 Thunderbirds out there, that's for sure. So it's no harm, no foul. And, and like I said before, uh, we did not ruin it. <laughs> we bought it that way, right? We bought it that way. So in the next little bit, you'll probably see a 58 Thunderbird come in and uh, we'll do a style on it or do something to it to have fun with it. And uh, hope you'll enjoy doing that with us. Just trying to keep the, the filler minimal. To get what we're going for. Got all inside the doors welded all the way around. So the doors are welded on the inside. As same as the outside. these off and paint them as quick as we can I'm putting more filler on than I need like always because if I don't put more on than I need then I might need more and I don't want to get back into it just trying to take some scratches and dig marks and that sort of stuff out of what's going on and uh, when we apply the paint, it'll look a little bit better than having the dig marks from the grinder and the welder and that sort of stuff. Be the quickest body job you've ever seen. I'm hoping. I don't think I've opened the back doors for anybody yet, but the back doors open nice. Uh, there was a little piece of weld on the back here I never snipped off and I snipped it off the other day when I had to get inside. I've also <clears throat> connected our package tray back up again and all I did is yeah, just connected it back so it's not free falling anymore. I did some grinding up around the front window so uh, when the windows come they're able to go right in the car. I got all the inside of the doors welded all the way around. I did not drill any holes in the side mounts yet, but I will. But I will. I was watching Jim's video last night. I feel for him down up in the wheel wells welding that. I feel for you, Jim. I feel for you, bye. That's quite a spot that you're into there. I feel for you. And you, if you can imagine, with a torch, uh, twice as hard, and yeah, well, that works nice. It's like our favorite store, twice as nice. It's a little antique store in Port Williams. 
we have if I'm going there we usually go there after we go to town just gonna stick that on there because I got a bunch I'm gonna plop a lot on there because there's some lead in there just want to fill that back up again it's gonna be sanded off and if it's not perfectly smooth um, does not matter a whole bunch. Don't want to get it in my weld hole there. Just trying to make it look like the car has not been messed with, that's all. And I guess the If I leave it somewhat rough, you would have a hard time guessing if it was messed with. Basically that little bit of fill going across that front windows for any pinholes or craters in the weld. That's basically that's all that's for. I'm not gonna go up around the window at all. Don't think it needs it. It's just nice to use your finger. I think it might need a little bit more there. So it was a debate in my brain whether to put filler on put filler on the car it was a debate but um, I'm thinking it would just look a little bit better if I smoothed off the welds where it was instead of let it go rusty that's what I'm thinking uh, I'm going to just leave it like that I'm going to get it my DA I have a uh, dual action sander it's electric and I'm gonna buzz it off with an 80 grit as quick as possible and then we'll maybe if it's not maybe we'll hit it with a 220 real quick by hand and then we'll throw paint on it and then it's somewhat getting closer to being completed what I'm doing other than having the glass in it We'll put the seat back in it, or maybe the seats, I'm not sure. We may be able to clean up the back seat. Um, but then I will make a list of what it needs. So it needs shocks. I went over the other day, shocks, U-bolts, brakes, a battery um, to get the engine running. And hopefully I can get somebody to uh, mechanically go over that. Um, and the reason being is probably the channel that we have going on here doesn't want to watch me do that stuff. You know, I mean, it's pretty hard to, um, for me to say anything that I'm doing. I, I wouldn't be able to, what can I say? It's not a, a, a real good watch, changing a, changing a set of shocks or the U-bolts. Um, the engine getting running, that would be something that would be nice to be filmed. That's probably for sure to see what goes on. But uh, what am I looking for? My dual axis sander. But I'd like to get a mechanic to go over all that stuff or to put that stuff on. And then I can continue on with the stuff that I like to do. And obviously, you know what I like to do. I like to customize, change things, fabricate things, make things. 
And if the engine runs in it, we probably would, you know, run it around for a while and see how it goes. If the engine does not run it, then we can make up our mind whether we're going to, you know, put a, a 350 in it or a 305 or whatever. We got a cheap engine over there. It would be nice to be able to run this car. I would like to run it, I think. And um, one of the engines that I have over there, I think would probably be a good engine for it. Not going to overpower it, not going to spin circles with it. I would run it down the road and have fun with it. I'm on an 80 grit on the DA. I'm going to sand this all off with the DA. Um, here we go. All I'm trying to do is, is feather off the edge of the fill. Just feather it off and then I'll blow a little blue paint on it and we'll call it a day. Um, so basically that's what I'm calling feathered off when you can't feel the edge no more, feathering it off. If you can still see paint around um, the filler, you know it's not feathered off. another pad just because it's getting dull there's no sense continuing on if you got a piece of dull sandpaper rip it off and get a new piece whatever I haven't sanded or wherever I can't get with the DA I'll come back in with a piece of hand sandpaper put 80 grit and then finish it up
So what I didn't do is I didn't sand the paint around where I ground it off. So where I ground it off, I didn't sand any paint because I'm hoping that the filler just stays on where I ground the paint off. That's the end of it. So I'm basically hoping that I'm just getting filler on where it's been ground and, and where I ground the paint off. That's what I'm going for. I'm going to take a little bit of sandpaper, scuff off, and make those look good before I take off around the corner. Actually, I probably should keep on going and get that in a minute. That's what I should do. Mako who? <laughs> So you can see how that it's just sticking on where it's been ground. If your if your paint is not sanded before you put filler on, it does not stick. Not very good, anyways. So, I'm not trying to make anything straight, I'm trying to cover up the, the grind marks. That's all I'm doing. Then 
we'll splash a little blue paint on it. It won't take long. If, if I was sanding this filler to make it flat and make it straight, I would not be digging at it like this. I would not be doing that. All I'm doing is taking it off to feather it off and that's it. New pad. And if it's a little rough, that's okay because it matches the rest of it. What's going on?
Going pretty good. paper around. I'm gonna have to maybe open the doors up to let some of the dust out. Think? <laughs> Think so, Tim? <laughs> Summer's on its way. Summer's on its way. Get a piece of paper, start going around it as quick as we can. We'll start over here where we, where we started. All I'm going to be doing is taking off little bits of, of filler that is not that is not feathered off. That's all I'm going to be doing. Hopefully I can get it done quickly and then it's on to paint. I know that's hard to believe, but it's true. And they call it body work because you work. That's why they call it body work. Good. Using an 80 grit. Generally, I start with a 40, but we're not looking to, to dig it all up. We're just looking to sand it off and, and paint it. Just covering up. They're grinder marks, basically. That's all we're trying to do is cover up grinder marks. And with the painting that I'm doing, if there's anything I don't like, which I can't, can't see that I'm gonna dislike anything, I can just sand it and paint it again. It's that easy. basically.
I already get the old DA in there. Just trying to see if it's feathered out or not. Doesn't feel bad. I generally don't try to do a body job in an hour, but we're going for it. We're going for it. I change angles a lot, just trying to get a better, better sand on it. Feeling it, see if it's feathered, which it's not. There we go. Awesome. Moving right along. pinhole there I want to get. Door opens on the back, awesome. And slams good. I want that pinhole. Got it. All 
already. Feeling good. Got the sweat running on me. It's good though. Right down here is the only place I see that it really needs work. Down here. When I'm done, you'd never know it was cut. That's what we're going for. It may look a little rough in places, but you would not know that someone cut it. No doubt in my mind, you wouldn't think someone cut the roof off it and chopped it. Unless you're the privileged ones that watch. It's not feathered off there right yet. I gotta do a little work around this back window yet to get this match up. I'm in there a little ways, obviously, because we come down quite a ways, but I gotta do something there yet. That's fine. paper. I got the paper over there to my spear. Ah. Be the quickest paint job ever. But it'll look the part where there's body fill. It probably will not rust anymore. And Charlie, the guy that sold me the white walls, uh, just filled me in that he has some new window felts that I'll be able to run inside the car. That's cool, because you can see where I cut them off. You can see where the when it come down how 
narrow the window was up here and how wide the window's down there and there's metal there where I weld them together. What I would do is I'd put my window felt in there, I'd put it in there straight, and then I'd possibly run some, some sealer down in there to fill that void. Some black sealer in there to fill that void and then you would never ever notice. Probably what I would do. Here. Right off, okay. ah. This lovely spot. See how it feels. Very little on there whatsoever. Filling in some pits or some scratches and and some low spots is about it. Had a friend in last night to check out um, the wheel side mounts, tire side mounts. Getting some belts made to hold the tires in. I'm getting two for this, one for this wheel and one for that wheel. I'm getting two belts made for the hood for the gas truck. 
uh, to hold the hood down and I'm getting two more belts for the side mounts that we made on that. So we'll be belted up, which is a good thing. And then all the wheels will stay in place. Custom little touch. Um, Paul did actually the, the belts for the race car when we did TV. He generally treats us good. There's an old foreman of mine at, at the chicken plant. We probably didn't see eye to eye at the chicken plant, but... Um, I have a new respect for him now, I guess, because we don't work at the chicken plant. And we, sometimes when you're at working somewhere with somebody, um, yeah, sometimes it's, what can I say? You're different people than you are than when you're not working somewhere. That makes sense. I probably wasn't very good to work with. And probably the main reason is I didn't want to be there. I did not want to be there, no doubt in my mind. I guess that's where you, where you go to work and you try to make a plan to get out. Do your job. Think about you would what you'd like to do. Make a plan. And then when you're ready, go for it. But never jump out of a job until you have another job in, in place. I would never think. If you're able to do that, that means you're not ready to work. All righty. Quickest body job of all, of all time. So we went around every place with filler and just put a little bit of filler on it to make it look a little bit smoother. There's a lot of weld going on there. Just wanted to smooth the weld up. Do you mind if I kick the doors open? Gonna kick the doors open, blow it off, and we'll throw a little paint on. Nope, I didn't finish that yet. Got a tire thing I gotta finish. Beautiful. Did not put any fill around the mounts because it, it ground off quite nice. It ground off quite nice everywhere else too, but we're gonna open the doors. We're gonna throw a little paint on this bad boy. What do we have for time, sweetheart? We're at some 50, we're at 55 minutes right at the present moment, but uh, we're not gonna shut it down. We're gonna put some paint on, so we're going in OT. We're going to OT. And the reason we're going to OT, because why not? First time we've opened the doors since winter time for, you know, um, first time since winter time to open the doors. I'm gonna go outside and just undo that. You wanna push the doors open, sweetheart? All right. I think it almost means we should tear, take the heat, turn the heat off. Um, <clears throat> one thing about here in, uh, here in Canada, 
we have to pay for heat <laughs> and um, sometimes it gets quite quite something else because it costs a lot of money to heat something it does there's where the bed sheets are Alrighty, we'll blow this bad boy off. House is over there. Yeah, we'll open that front door up and that'll let her blow through. going to tape anything off just going to blow the blue paint on it so it feathers off good and that's going to be the end of it awesome what do you think fina huh what do you think fina <laughs> We're just going to get it somewhere as close I think that them front wheels deserve to be covered up and the reason being is I spent time cleaning them uh, on them front wheels they're just like the back wheels they're gummed up quite heavy the spray nine took a lot of the of the dirt off but in, in order for me to get them look nice nice I used a wire brush so I sprayed spray nine and a wire brush and I just wire brushed them all the way around did not hurt with the wheel whatsoever but it cleaned the white wall now that's what it did it cleaned the white wall just put these on because I don't want to get paint on them I just cleaned them not looking to go backwards sometimes I go backwards but obviously not looking for the perfect job I'm looking for the the job which makes it look like it's 
been that way for 60 years without really knowing that it had a haircut. We're using direct to metal paint. Probably you've got a bit much in there, I probably do. I can dump some back in, I guess. This is direct to metal, I'm not using no primer. Just gonna spray it on there because we're gonna leave the rest of the car that way. And when we are, you know, at the point where we think we like the car with the, with the paint all on it and that stuff, then we will clean it up and then we will, I don't want red, I want black. What am I doing? <laughs> Look out, Tim. I want it black, not red. That's how it happens. So blue and red make purple. Now we're going to put a little black in her. Trying to get her done. Ah, I shouldn't have dumped that red in there. Should I, baby? Huh? Doesn't matter. The car is six different colors anyways. Close enough? Huh? Why dump that red in there? Oh yeah, it's coming now. That'd be good. I really did not want the red in there, but it's in there. I'm not gonna fuss or moss. You've seen the body job I did on it. It's not bad, actually. This paint here, I like to throw a little thinner in it. Just so, I'm gonna dump a little bit in this. And I'll throw a little thinner in it. Thin it up a little bit. shut that front door because the wind's blowing through. Mix my paint up and my put my paint in my gun. bad boy no sense that running going for it aren't I, baby going for it and blow that thinner through there
put my mask on for this. What the heck? I just want a little cue card in case I don't want to get paint on something. Now, if the paint is a little off, obviously, I'll mix up some more and put a little more on. It's kind of purple looking to me. But Gotta start somewhere. Paint in there. We'll have to mix some better paint up, obviously. It's too purple, but that can be the first coat. Oh, that can be the first coat, that's for sure.
already we got one coat on it I'm gonna let it go from there what I'm gonna do is now if you come back this far if you come back here Jolene we'll mix up some different paint we won't put the red in it so so purple we'll get it darker and then we'll do it one more time but as you if you looked at that from a distance going down the road you would never know that that car had been chopped and that's basically what I'm going for so I'll mix up some paint get a little bit darker and we'll do it again and um, kind of make it blend in like rough like the rest of it and uh, that's where we're going with it we're basically at the point where it's going to be finny um, we just want to get a little paint up around the front window there so we'll mix up some different paint do it again and uh, we'll, we're going to call it it's over all right everybody thanks a lot for coming back we appreciate it um, the quickest fill job on a chopped car ever like comment come back see you tomorrow appreciate all the comments see you tomorrow